this workshop's on risk mitigation, and it's really focused on how to re how to reduce the risk for everybody involved in a project. So, rather than transfer the risk from general contractor to a subcontractor, or from a subcontractor to someone else to a different sub, uh, it's really focused on reducing risk for everybody, making everybody more profitable on the job. On a job site, there's all kinds of risks. There's people. There's equipment. There's specification. There's quality control and then unknown stuff that pops up and costs the contractor time and money. And so the theory is how do we approach that to control it? A lot of projects, uh, they, they spend a lot of money in engineering, a lot of money in design, uh, a lot of money in writing specifications. If specifications aren't adhered to, you don't get the quality project that you're looking for. Specifications suck. That's what the impression is. They're not done well today on the mo for the most part. And the contractors bear the brunt because they're the ones stuck with the risk if the documents aren't well coordinated. One missed word in a spec can cost them a bundle. We have experiences that can show that where an estimator missed a kind of stainless steel for an anchor bolt that cost a million dollars. With a good quality accredited program, having in-house inspectors that can overlook the job and find the problems before they develop into major problems. There's the NACE CIP Certified Inspection Program, which has been in existence since 83. And then there's the NACE Contractor Accreditation Program, AS1, that is more of the quality assurance program. We're talking about really helping to ensure that the glazers that are in the field working on the job know what they're doing, that they're going to complete the job correctly the first time. On the contractor side of things, we're talking about ensuring that the, the contractors have preventive systems in place designed to catch problems before they occur. The NACC program focuses on glazing contractors and really how to reduce risk for, for those individuals, those companies. And the AGMT certification program certifies glazing technicians and really helps ensure a minimum level of competency in the field, um, reducing risk for both the glazing contractor and numerous other stakeholders on those projects. For the union, that's one of the number one things that we can do is, is train and certify the workforce. Uh, for the contractor, quality management systems and quality management programs and accreditations in those uh, is one of the, the top things that contractors can do. So certification and accreditation are definitely two of the things we're focused on.